Hey everybody, Adam Rucker here, and I am so excited because today we're going to pack for a Disney Parks vacation. Over the years, I've taken so many trips to Disneyland and Walt Disney World, and I've had a lot of questions about what to pack and how to pack it. And so today, we're going to unpack my bags and show you exactly what you need when you go on a Disney Parks trip. So we're going to be unpacking my carry-on suitcase and my carry-on tote bag and showing you everything that's inside. So first let's start with the suitcase. This is my new bag from Away. This is actually my second Away bag. The first one I bought is a bag called the Smaller Carry-On and it's this really nice blue. And uh, the nice people at Away sent me this slightly bigger carry-on to try and it's in brick red and I love both of them depending on the length of your trip. Uh, this is good for like one to two days. This is good for like three to five days. Obviously, you can see they're not that much uh, different, but it does make a little bit of a difference. You can get a little more in this bag. Now, first of all, what I love about this bag and a lot of bags like it is that it has the um, 360 wheels. So if you're looking for a suitcase, you for sure want the uh, four wheels that spin. Um, it's not just to look super cool when you're walking through the airport. It actually... It actually helps out a lot. A lot of bags come with the four wheels now, but uh, if you have a super old suitcase and it just has the two, it might be time to upgrade. Another thing that I love about the Away bags, it's pretty different than other bags, is that hidden beneath the handle is a USB charging port. Yes, there are two USB charging ports here and you have no idea how helpful that is at the airport. Now you might be saying, oh, but I have a portable charging battery pack or I have a charger I can just find a plug. Um, if you've ever tried to find a plug at an airport, you'll understand why this is necessary. Not only are they hard to come by, but when you do find them, someone else is using them. So you literally just plug your cord right into the bag itself and charge away. I've had like 15 people come up to me at the airport already and be like, How, what is that? How are you doing it? it? That's amazing. And it is amazing. So it comes with a cord. You just plug it in and charge the battery pack inside and you're good for, I think, several iPhone charges or whatever you're charging. So that's pretty amazing and pretty cool. So let's unpack. The other thing about these bags is that the zippers are the lock. So. You can secure your bag really nice and then pop it open and that's the zipper. So, hard shell suitcases are really cool, um, mostly because they protect your items a little bit better than the soft shells. It does mean like it can't expand bigger like some of the soft shell cases that you could find, but I haven't had a problem with, with my hard shell suitcases, so I'm sticking with it. So you open it up and inside you have two sides. Um, one has a zipper kind of mesh casing over it, which we'll get into in a second, and the other has this um, saw, this piece above that you can help to compress your clothes. So once everything's inside, you buckle these up and um, pull the little tie down and actually compresses your clothes and gives you more room in the suitcase than you already had. So let's work in reverse a little bit here. I'm gonna open this up. And first and foremost, what I recommend when you're packing is packing cubes. Uh, I know this isn't cube size, but this is the um, universally agreed upon name for what these are. What I use these for, I have two, two medium sized ones. What I use these for is like all of your undergarments. So you can put underwear and socks in one and undershirts in another. I put those in two packing cubes. And for me, because when I pack, I find it really hard to remember what I've already packed, so then I end up unpacking everything. So this makes it easy to know like, oh, I've already got those essentials, set them aside. Um, it's also great for when you get to the hotel, you can just unzip the bag, the packing cube, and throw it in the drawer and you're unpacked and ready to go. So inside, I think you've probably heard a lot of people recommend that you roll your clothes, and I generally agree with that too. Sometimes I make an exception if it's like a pair of pants or something that isn't, it's just gonna be huge rolled, I go ahead and lay them flat and put them on top of everything. So when I'm packing, the great thing about rolling your clothes is that there's little grooves in between where the handle for the suitcase lives, 
and in this case the battery pack for the charging unit so you can fit your clothes in those grooves so I put a t-shirt there a pair of shorts here and you're not wasting that space by just laying a pair of pants flat across and losing all of that groove space so what I always live by is less is more if you've gone to the Disney parks you've probably overpacked by a ton and not realized it until you were leaving and thought oh I didn't wear that I didn't wear that I didn't wear that so if you've been following me for a while you know that I've gone on a lot of Disney trips a lot of them so over time I've managed to pare down and really get to the essentials so that's what's in here so I have one pair of uh, versatile shorts that you can wear to the park you can wear to dinner you can wear wherever you need I've got a nice a uh, basic blue t-shirt. You've, I'm sure, seen me wear this a lot. Um, it's just because it's easy. I've got a couple of just blank t-shirts. I've got this Lululemon polo shirt. That's because it can get really hot in the parks. Whether you're on the east or west coast, it's almost always sunny and above 70 degrees at either Disneyland or Walt Disney World. So you want to have clothes that breathe, you wanna have clothes that look good, but also aren't going to make you sweat just by being in them. So that's why I use a Lululemon polo, and of course you've gotta have at least one Mickey shirt. And if you're the Disney bounding type, make sure you pack that costume as well. These are actually my Prince Eric pants. So you can see they're very blue, bluer than uh, your your regular blue jeans. I got these at a thrift store. They were super easy to find. Uh, most of the time, if I'm Disney bounding, I can find what I need at a thrift star, store and Target. So make sure you pack that um, and put it aside with all the other things you need for that costume so you don't have to hunt and search for it in your bag. So that's pretty much the clothing side. Again, if you are going on a trip, you don't want to overpack, but you do want to consider that if you're going for two to three days, especially for undergarments and things like that, pack one to two more depending on how long you go just because one, you do get really hot. Sometimes you want to fully change your outfit and another, you might get on a water ride and get completely soaked and want to change as well. Once you pack all your outfit essentials, go ahead and close that up. Pull it tight. And another really cool thing I love about this bag is that right here in the back, it's built in a little laundry bag. So when you're done with your trip or when you're progressing with your trip, there's actually a laundry bag built in. You can put all your dirty clothes, lay it right back into the bag and compress it down, close up your bag, you're ready to go home. Amazing. The other side is really cool because it's good for your shoes, your hats, anything that you don't wanna get crushed um, put in the other side and it's zipper protected. So let's dive in here. I've got uh, two pairs of shoes and I usually put my shoes in a old grocery bag just to make sure they don't get um, things dirty. Right now they're clean because I haven't worn them to the park but when you get home from the park at the end of the day you think about how far you've walked and how many things you've walked through and you just kind of want to protect your bag and everything inside it from the elements. So what I do when I pack is I always wear my biggest shoes on the plane. These are what I wear into the park to walk around with all day. And they're also my biggest shoes. So they would take up the most space in my bag. So I go ahead and wear those on the plane. So you don't have to deal with it. What I pack in here is a pair of flip flops for the hotel, for the pool, anything like that. Uh, that you might want to throw on really quick and a pair of a little bit nicer shoes but still these are not my nicest shoes but they could pass and here's the reason for that if you go to a Disney park you never know when you might have to actually dress nicer than what you've prepared for case in point a few years ago when I went to Disneyland I did not know that I was also going to be dining at Club 33 that weekend. That was a surprise that happened when I was already there. I hadn't 
pre-prepared any sort of nice outfit for the trip. And so I had to go to the mall and buy new pants, new shirt, and new shoes. So you might have noticed I actually packed, the pants that I packed are these khaki jeans because they could pass as nice. And I packed a nice polo um, that I could wear to a nice dinner reservation, a nice show that you might not have thought of beforehand and uh, you might end up buying tickets to or getting a reservation for. You wanna have an option and that doesn't require you to go all the way to the shopping mall when you are wanting to have fun at the Disney park. So keep that in mind. Have a nice pair of shoes, nice pants, nice shirt. You're good to go. I also pack my Mickey ears. The mine are built into this really awesome Mouseketeers hat. I have to tell you now because a lot of people have asked when they see this in my videos, where I got it. I got this at Epcot and I love it, it's amazing. I got it several years ago and I've never seen it again. So um, if you want it to come back, you might wanna tweet the Disney Parks this photo, screenshot this, and send it to them and say that you want uh, the Mouseketeers hat with ears to come back. This is great because everyone needs a hat at Walt Disney World or Disneyland. It's super sunny and you want to protect yourself and celebrate Mickey all at the same time. Inside the other parts of this compartment, I have my toiletry bag. I always use something like this because it's super easy, again, like the packing cubes, to pull it out, throw it in the bathroom, and you're unpacked and ready to go. This one actually comes with a hook, and so you can just hook it onto the towel rack or the door, um, the little hook on the back of the door and you're good to go. So inside, it's um, super straightforward, easy to understand. Some of the things that I wanna make sure you don't forget um, are the essentials. And just a general traveling tip, if you think, oh, I'm not gonna forget about something because it's part of my daily routine, I promise you will forget about it because unless going to Disney on an airplane every day is part of your daily routine. <laughs> that, that experience is not a normal experience. You're gonna forget things you never thought you would. So deodorant, essential to pack before you leave for your trip. Um, toothpaste, essential to pack before you leave for your trip. Now your hotels, most hotels are gonna have shampoo and conditioner so you don't have to worry about that. Soap if you're fine with a bar soap, which. By the way, I love the H2O soap and all that stuff that they have at Disney. So if you haven't had it, try it because it's amazing. Hairspray, you want a nice hairspray. I use L'Oreal Elnet hairspray, both the large and small size. This one is good to travel with. Essential, do not forget a spray on sunscreen. Do not forget it. If you learn one thing from this video, spray on sunscreen you're gonna be paying a lot of money in Florida for sunscreen if you haven't brought it with you on your trip. This is super easy to bring with you. Everything else inside is pretty straightforward. Another thing you might not think about is Dayquil. So I always bring Dayquil um, with me, these little packets on trips, just because you never know when you're going to catch a cold or um, get sick and you don't know where Walgreens or anything else like that is or have access to it if you didn't run a car. So I always bring a, a couple medicines with me just uh, preventatively in case you need them later. And finally inside this other side of my luggage suitcase is Joy Mangano's My Little Steamer Go Mini. Um, this is not a paid endorsement. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I love Joy Mangano, the inventor of the Miracle Mop. Um, I watch Home Shop Shopping Network all the time, and this is one of her signature um, pieces. It's amazing. It's small, but you can um, open it up, put any kind of tap water in it at your hotel, and steam your clothes. You don't have to deal with a ironing board or an iron. It's really easy to steam your clothes. And when you've rolled them like I have in here, they don't get too wrinkly, so they really just need a little bit loosening up with the steam, and you're good to go. The Go Mini is amazing. It's super easy to pack. It's small, and it's wonderful. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Actually, I'll put a link to everything uh, that you see here in the description of the video. So, 
I've got that all packed up. Make sure you fill in any space that you have left over. I put a pair of sweatpants in here just in case. And zip up your bag and you are good to go. <laughs> That wasn't too hard, was it? All right, time to move on to your carry-on personal item or your carry-on handheld bag, backpack, whatever you call it. This is what's gonna go inside that. Now first, I wanna show you the checklist pad. This is from Muji, and I love it because you can put every single item you want to bring with you on your trip and check it off as you go. Again, you might think, oh, I'll never forget. You will, I promise, so get a checklist pad just write everything on a piece of paper, whatever you need, so you don't forget what you've got. So when you do a carry-on, I usually use a backpack, like this Patagonia bag is super great to carry on. Right now I'm using this uh, tote bag because it's big, it's expandable, it's a little more than you need, but when you go to Disney, if you are like me, you always come back with a souvenir or two. So you want a little extra space when you're going. So I'm gonna unload this really quick. Um, this is my Universal, or Disney rather, jacket. This works for everything uh, from light summer breeze to cold winter weather. It's easy to pack, it's light, but it really keeps you warm when you need it. So I love putting that in my carry-on rather than my suitcase so I can throw it on in the airplane or throw it on at the hotel and pack it in my park bag. If you're going in the winter, it's gonna be super cold. I recommend one of those like down jackets that you can stuff in a bag like this. This one is from Uniqlo. They're super easy to pack and wonderful. Inside the bag, I also keep my laptop. This is an HP Stream. If you've got like a MacBook Air or something, just make sure it's a lighter laptop because by the end of your trip, you're going to be um, breaking your back if it's super heavy. I also have this. This is, this is, this is the most important thing you need for your trip. And I'm not exaggerating at all. My friend Logan calls this a cord purse. I also call this a cord purse. You can call it whatever you want, but it's incredible is what it is because inside you have every charger or charging cord that you need. How many times have you thrown charging cords and charging blocks into a bag and not been able to find them. This solves all that. So it's got three separate compartments. You can get this one at the container store or on Amazon, it's Rumi brand. I'll put the link below. But the way I organize it is by putting my charging blocks in this smaller pocket at the bottom. And I use an Anchor brand one because it has four separate um, charging ports and uh, it plugs right into the wall. So this is super easy when you're at the hotel. You can charge your camera, your phone, your iPad, everything. And then I bring one extra little mini block uh, just in case you're at the park and need to charge something in one of their smaller charging uh, plugs. Also essential when you're packing for anywhere is to use a label maker. You might see on my charging box, I actually have my my Twitter username, Adam Rucker. Um, you can put whatever you want on it, your phone number, your email. I put that because I think most people understand what that is. If you found this somewhere, you could tweet me really quick. Or if you didn't have Twitter, you'd at least know my name and figure out how to contact me, hopefully. I use this Dymo label maker. It's super simple. Print it off, throw it on, everything you've got, you're good to go. Um, that also helps when you're traveling with multiple people and you're like, oh, uh, whose charging cord is this? Whose charging block is that? I'm like, that's at Adam Rucker's, so give it back. Um, keep my cords, everything else essential in the middle pocket. And then I keep the bigger things like my camera charger and my external battery block in the taller, larger port at the top. So make sure you have one of these and you charge it before your trip. Guys, it is so essential that you do the work ahead of time before you leave because one you'll just be so relieved that you don't have to stress about stuff when you get there and two when you get in a jam you don't have to worry about anything everything you need is right here in your cord purse love it live it 
keep it. I'm gonna blow your mind because inside my carry-on personal item is another bag. I love bags, if you haven't figured that already. This is the bag that I take with me into the park. So this is what I actually wear when I go to the park. It has everything I need inside it. It's small, but you can uh, fit a lot of stuff in it. So one of the things I always pack inside that is a poncho. You never know when it's gonna rain at the Disney parks. You never know when you're gonna wanna get on Splash Mountain and not ruin your clothes for the day. So pack a poncho, they roll up tight. Uh, usually you can get them pretty cheap at a drugstore and if you wanna throw it away before your trips, when your trip's over or if you wanna roll it back up, super easy to do. So I have a small bag. This is Manhattan Portage. It's um, also linked in the description below but you can keep everything inside it like your cord purse and anything else you need guys i get a lot of criticism for this but this is a fanny pack if you don't want to carry around a big bag like this i highly recommend fanny packs who cares if people at the park think you're crazy or weird for wearing a fanny pack it makes life simpler okay especially if you're a video blogger or someone who has a lot of equipment it's so easy to pack your camera, pack even a big um, external microphone like this in the bag. Everything you need can fit inside of a fanny pack. Your sunscreen, your sunglasses. I highly recommend this. Now that said, if you wanna have, if you have more stuff than that and you need a bigger bag, it's still nice to have a fanny pack to keep all your electronics in one bag and pull it right out. I just mentioned sunglasses. The, these are essential items at Disney, and it's also the most frequently forgot item when you go to a Disney park. Why? Because you're driving to the airport super early in the morning and you don't need your sunglasses, so you leave them in the car. That's happened to me a hundred thousand million times, and I've had to buy sunglasses when I get there, and they're not cheap. So, these are a cheap pair of sunglasses that I always keep in my park day bag. And if I remember my nice pair of sunglasses, great. If I don't, I've got a backup pair, and that is a lifesaver. Got my Nintendo 3DS XL. Also has a big label that says Adam Rucker on the back. This is fun. Obviously, guys, pay attention to the Disney parks, but it's also fun because there's a lot of people there that have them, and you can do street passing and collect a lot of street passes. Other essential is a medication bag. So not only if you have daily medication that you need, but if you wanna bring a Dayquil, like I said before, or Advil, anything that you might be surprised that you need in the park, if you get a headache, if you hurt your foot, anything like that you wanna have. I also keep a smaller bag with wet wipes in it. Um, sometimes you wanna clean off the tray table on the plane, or you wanna clean off your uh, space where you're eating. Those are really nice to have when you're traveling. And they all fit inside this little bag, yet another bag, inside a bag, inside a bag, inside a bag. But guys, it all works out so well. It makes life super easy if you just do a little bit of uh, planning work ahead of time. I also forgot that I bring my Instax Mini. Super nice to have. Also fits inside your Disney Park State bag. Oh, and you can't forget, your celebrating buttons. So I've got an I'm celebrating, haven't written in that one yet, and my I'm pretty cool button, because I'm pretty cool. So that's it, that's everything that's inside my Disney Parks travel suitcase and carry-on bag. I hope you enjoyed, I hope it's helpful. If I missed anything, leave it in the comments below, but just make sure to remember, checklists are great, sunscreen, sunglasses are great, don't forget your swimsuit, your flip-flops, all of those things, you make sure you have them inside your bag. And if worse comes to worse, you can stop at a drugstore, you can stop at a gift shop. They're gonna have everything you need. So most importantly, just don't overly stress about anything. If you wanna look at the Away suitcases, they have a ton of sizes and colors. There's a link to them in the description of my video. If you use that link, you can get 20 bucks off your first purchase, which is pretty cool. So definitely check that out. And thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out all of my Disney Parks videos by watching my Disney Parks playlist and subscribing to AJ Ruck on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.